Hello Thistle and Gang, welcome back to my channel if you've already been here, if not, hi, I'm Hedge. This is my channel and um, this is a thrift haul. I tend to do themed thrift hauls, um, those of you who've been here for a while might know that. Um, and this one isn't particularly themed, at least I thought it wasn't and then I noticed that it had a lot of neo-Edwardian romanticism stuff going on. Um, and then I already wore this blouse and it went and became very Edwardian <laughs> actually and so I had to go and throw on the kefir to make it a bit more punk uh, but yeah let's, let's just start with that I've never had one of those um, at least in Germany the uh, Palestinian scarf is the staple <laughs> is, is the staple of leftist youth and um, yeah, I was one of those and I never had one of these. So yeah, when I saw this in pale yellow, I, I had to have it. And I find it hard to find a, a smooth transition to the next piece. And that would be this absolutely fantastic, beautiful, massive doily, or it's rather a small tablecloth. And I am pretty sure that it is antique. Um, I bought it at Oxfam during a trip to my family. I think this would absolutely be fantastic for some food photography that I'm planning to do this year. And uh, yeah, let's just keep it with a with a food theme. I also um, spoiled myself in the uh, in the tin department because. And not only have I a thrifting problem, I also have a tin problem. Quite a big one, actually. But I really liked it when I saw it. And when I saw it a few weeks later, again, uh, and it wasn't sold yet, I decided to get it. Because you can never have enough tins. And I just realized that I have a tin that I haven't put in, in the suitcase yet. Because speaking of Neo-Edwardian, Edwardian revival styles, um, I have a slight obsession also with uh, Sarah Kay and um, that would be the lady who painted these adorable little illustrations um, and I mean look at the design of, of the, on, on the sides and um, that is absolutely beautiful and this is also very adorable and it is a tin and it only cost me 50 cents and um, yeah I, mm, mm, I actually wrote a uh, inspirational inspired whatever piece on, um, on on Sarah Kay as a fashion inspiration on my blog once. I'm gonna link that down in the description because I still kind of like it and um, I mean this is basically fashion goals isn't it. While we are in this slightly kitschy tin department I also got myself this lovely little jar thing um, you must know that uh, that wild roses are among my favorite plants ever. Um, I absolutely adore the smell. They are beautiful. They're perfect for flower crowns. And um, so this this was a must have for me. I really like the small little bud on the top. I'm not quite sure what to put in there yet, but it is it seems to be made for treasure, so it's probably not going to be food even though food actually is a treasure. So um, I also got this adorable little porcelain rose brooch. It is just as kitschy as as the uh, as the jar. I'm gonna just pin that to my to my kefir, so I have even more of a just a position of kitsch and punk. It seems like we have landed safely in accessory territory, so I might as well show you the glasses that I've got um, because you might know that I'm uh, woefully short-sighted I do need prescription glasses and uh, while I do love my hipster glasses I wanted something um, additional to either just switch onto if I if I don't feel like my normal spectacles or for more historic purposes and so the the three options that I've got now and that I've have that I have to decide on which ones to first get prescription glasses for 
uh, would be this. This, which is um, for Antonia Cecilia, actually. Just in case she needs glasses. And this, which is more of the uh, lab variety. If one of my characters should ever need glasses because I can't get my uh, contacts into my eyes in the morning. Um, let me know in the comments which of the glasses you like most, because I really can't, can't decide for the life of me, because I actually like all of them. Um, they are like three euros at my at my um, most visited thrift store. So uh, yeah, these the, the frames actually weren't expensive. What's going to be expensive is the prescription glasses. But we have one or two things left in the accessory um, department. And one of them would be this very beautiful belt. Another thing that I have quite a lot of. So it's belts and tins apparently with me. I wear waist belts with a lot of my dresses uh, to either cinch them in a tiny bit or just to accessorize a bit because I am not very good at accessorizing. I don't wear a lot of them except for maybe a pin and a belt and that's about it. Um, I, I don't even change my earrings. I only ever wear this one. And not quite last in the accessories but I uh, quite quite adorable little um, tangent is uh, this. It actually has dried Edelweiss in it. Um, does that stuff even have an English name? Okay, it apparently doesn't. It is under protection, so I guess this is from before the protection was um, enforced, because you know, it's almost extinct because people collect it. And it only grows in the Alps, so um, this is probably a memento from before that, uh, probably a nice little souvenir, and it's, it's kind of strange, but I like it. I have no idea yet if um, this will stay with me, or if it's Millie, a transitional period, because I seem to be a psychopomp for things. I'm just the person who gets them there where they ought to be. Apparently that's a thing now with me. And um, while well, we're at the Alpine theme, I actually bought this. Stay away from dinners because I look awfully wholesome in them. Very hobbity. Um, I think I just have the face for it. A lot of people say that whenever I don a dindle, um some Alpine grandparents start crying out of joy, but um, it, it hasn't been proven yet. It just looks adorable, or so I've been told. Um, but this one I actually really liked, because it has only small little flowers, and it has a very lovely bloody red and I can't wait to wear this with combat boots. Alas, it is too so small and thus it is my gold dress now. Um, it has this row of buttons which is absolutely delightful and this tiny little ruffle at the chest. I absolutely love it. I saw it and fell in love with it so I had to get it. This thing fits around the waist quite snugly but it fits and it absolutely doesn't in the chest and so well, if that isn't motivation to shed those last five pounds or something. <laughs> yeah, so that, that, that's how, how I stay motivated to die. Um, I'm actually not from southern uh, Germany or Austria or any place where you would wear a dental, even though I'm German. <laughs> um, but I think this is absolutely lovely. I also didn't, didn't buy this anywhere where you would wear a dental. Speaking of uh, quite regional things and being German, I also bought this little thing. So uh, this is the traditional form of cup that the uh, Frisian tea, tea, tea would be served in. And uh, that works by putting a kluntje, which is um, rock candy, on, on the bottom and then you fill it up with tea and then you put cream on it and then you don't even stir but you just drink it and um, yeah this is this is just as German as this thing but for some reason people only ever know the Bavarian part. Uh, finally this was made in Bavaria 
but this uh, blue onion pattern is very typical for, for the china used in the German uh, northern German tea ceremony. Speaking of tea, I have um, taken to uh, drinking a cup of tea in the morning uh, when I have late mornings and uh, I've also like green tea, I'm usually more of an infusion girl because I don't have to bother taking uh, taking the tea out of the of, out of uh, the pot. But um, I have taken to drinking my green tea. Also lounging around in my uh, house coat, which is this thing. I've always wanted one of these. So uh, now I can actually sit in the kitchen, sip my tea, and um, do my crosswords in style. And I'm absolutely in love with this thing. I also bought this wrapping paper because it was kitschy and I loved it. Uh, no, no other reasons given. I just see I forgot a tin. I also bought this. It is very pretty and very brassy. I love the patina on it. Um, and it's also really... It, it basically screams treasure box. But uh, staying with the brass theme, I also got this absolute beauty and accompanying this and I guess they used to be uh, piano um, piano candle holders because I mean it is a pair they are adjustable to the sides and the size is about right aren't they absolutely beautiful I can't even I was so happy when I found them I also forgot more accessories and uh, one of them basically matching all, all the, the brassy parts um, one of them is this lovely little handbag I don't even usually use handbags but this was so glorious I guess it's another case of uh, thing psychopompery because I don't think uh, this will stay with me forever um, but for now it has a lovely little home with me I mean the handle is ridiculously short, but isn't this absolutely beautiful? And the other bag that I unwittingly withheld from you, or from your, from your eyes, would be this little tapestry thing. I am quite the sucker for tapestry, to be honest, because it is horrifically kitschy, and um, I love that. So around my birthday, um, last September, my, my local Oxfam had a, um, a very nice little sale with, uh, that, that mostly centered around antique lace and I might have actually got some because, you know, it's lace and I like lace um, and it's also antique linen. I'm, I'm really, really uh, cautious with these things because I think I want to make something special from it. And um, at the same sale, I also got, yeah, I got these drawers. And now I have vintage underwear because, you know, these are probably, I'd say, around World War I or even, young, uh, even older. Um, the only thing that distracts from that is that they do have uh, elastic in them but I think that was added later. Aside from that the uh, French themes are absolutely beautiful and um, I am actually very happy to have these. I think they uh, shall be part of my summer leisure suits. And yeah I know it's it's kind of weird these are the undies of, a, undies of a dead person but other people who like antiques might actually understand. <laughs> In the same way, uh, when a costume shop around here closed, um, my boyfriend actually went there because I had to work when they had their sale and he brought me two lovely little underskirts, not quite sure about their age and these are great for my modern Edwardian endeavors and from the same sale and from the same sale came this absolute treasure uh, that is this 
Victoria doll jacket. It's absolutely beautiful. A bit threadbare in some parts, and uh, some of the some of the uh, embroidery. How's that called in, in English? I don't know. Some of the ribbon has actually um, detached from the fabric, but I will fix this up because it is absolutely beautiful and uh, it goes so well with a lot of things that I already love. My boyfriend sent me a picture and I actually had to, had to um, look at my phone once in a while at work uh, and then he sent me this and of course I said I want this. Uh, and the last thing that I wanted to show you um, that I found when I was uh, visiting my boyfriend's parents together with him is this. This is an actual Jugendstil book. Jugendstil being the pendant to um, Art Nouveau. This from 1904 and it um, centers around the topic of German ballads. And not only do I now have German ballads, but also sheet music um, about a few of, of the ballads, actually, because a lot of these ballads aren't only poems, but they are meant to be sung, or at least somebody decided they are meant to be sung. Um, and I am absolutely in love with the beautiful, beautiful artwork inside because um, Jugendstil is one of my absolute favorite uh, art styles and I think one of those that influenced me the most um, and yeah having this is this is an absolute treasure and uh, I shall probably replicate some of the prints from inside to print them on my own clothes because I mean they are fantastic, uh, and I can't wait to actually go into this in more detail at some point. Um, and by that I mean read it, not necessarily make a video about it, except if you desperately want one, uh, which I wouldn't be opposed to. But yeah, so this is, I think, the greatest treasure from this whole thing, and uh, I think that is a good good point to just end this video and I hope you like my treasures I hope uh, you like the tiny tiny stories behind them even though this wasn't really themed and then ended up to be themed after all I just wanted to make a video about things that I really loved and then yeah well I seemingly have have a style uh, of things that I love and um, yeah Thank you so much for watching, be nice to yourself, be nice to others, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!